maybe it's just me, but I find it appalling that, um, <clears throat> that it's more important as a nation, and we find it more important to protect the rights of some sociopath to own an assault weapon rather than protecting our own children. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But I, I know one thing. I know that if, if you had, if you had the death certificate of, of any of the victims of those mass shootings, I'll bet you that cause of death would be listed as uh, gunshot wounds. And that may be technically accurate, that's not the real reason. The real cause of death is greed. The greed of the gun and ammo manufacturers, the greed of the NRA, and worst of all, the greed of the politicians who accept their money. Well, that's why I'm angry, and, and that's why I, I painted the paintings up you see here today, brought to you by the NRA, and the one in the lobby, uh, Blood Money. <clears throat> anyway, I, I, you'll notice probably uh, that I focus on the NRA. And why? Why am I picking on these five staunch defenders of our Second Amendment? No, I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, because their sole reason for being, their whole existence, is just to lobby Congress. Now, let me be more blunt. To bribe Congress. I mean, that's what it is. To create, not to create, any gun laws that are going to inhibit gun sales, even a little bit. You know, no matter what the cost in human lives are, you know, we. We can't hurt profits. That, to them, that somehow is unacceptable. So, you know, I pick on the NRA, but we have to give them credit, too, because they're very good at what they do. They are. I mean, uh, listen, <laughs> they lo lobbied Congress to uh, let the ban on assault weapons expire. So what? Well, ask yourselves, how many innocent lives might have been saved if that ban was still in existence. And they call it a do-nothing Congress. And that's also not true. They've done plenty. They've done plenty to create gun legislation. And I don't know how many of you know this, but they created a law that protects the gun manufacturing industry from litigation. They're the only industry that has that protection, that you can't sue them. If you're harmed by their product, you can't sue them. Now, you buy a cup of hot McDonald's coffee, spill a little on your lap, you could sue them for a million dollars, possibly get it. It's been done. But God forbid you're cleaning your, your gun, accidentally goes off in your face because of some gun malfunction, well, <laughs> you're out of luck. It's not the only law they passed. They passed a law that um, prohibits any and all federal agencies from spending any funds to conduct a study uh, that would uh, find the correlation between gun ownership and gun deaths. So these are the kind of laws that the NRA has lobbied Congress to pass. You guys getting angry yet? I'm angry. Now Sandy Hook, that should have been a tipping point in gun legislation. In a divided nation where, over, where we can't agree on anything, over 90% of the American people supported a proposed bill um, expanding background checks. Those little places like gun shows and the internet. But it only took 44 senators to disregard the will of the American public and uh, kill the bill. And God knows how, how many people were killed along with it. 
Well, I know that there's been over 12,000 gun deaths since then. And that just shows you how powerful the NRA is and how corrupt our, our government is. That makes me angry, and I hope that it makes you all angry too. I hope it makes you angry enough to act. Because it's easy to blame the NRA, and it's easy to blame Congress. Shake our heads, throw our arms up in the air. But the truth of the matter is that it's up to us. It's really up to us. Uh, you know, we cannot be complicit. You know, we have to have our voices heard. Because bottom line is, we're either part of the problem or we're part of the solution. And I'm sure all you fine people who came here today, you want to be part of the solution. Am I right? You know, that's pretty good, uh, but, you know, if I were to, if this was a NRA meeting in Texas, I think we'd get more. We can't have apathy here. I'm going to ask you one more time. Let's do it. You want to be part of the solution? Yeah. Hey, we might just win this thing. That's good. That's good. Well, good news is, I'm glad you said that, by the way. All you have to do is uh, ask your representative one simple question, just one. Ask them, how many more, how many more lives must be lost until they act? How many more? And we've made it very easy for you people to do that here today. Uh, you'll notice on your tables there are some cards, some postcards. Okay. All you have to do is write your name, your city, and your state. Leave them on the table. We'll mail them out for you. Okay. And, uh, and don't stop there. Okay? Do as much as you can. Be vigilant on this. Because, uh, well, listen, the late, great, truly great Pete Seeger, who, who was scheduled to be here today, he was all about the power of individual to make change. And uh, so promise me, promise Pete. Promise brave parents from Newtown, promise yourselves that you'll do even more. You'll do as much as the NRA, as much as you can. That you'll act like lives depend on it. Because guess what? They really do. Thank you.